the digital boards and the My View Board software has now become our main resource within the classroom for the teacher. Um, we've kind of moved away from our static whiteboards um, and we're now integrating the, uh, the PowerPoints that we use for our uh, presentations with our My View Board software. So they're integrated seamlessly um, with the software with on that, with on that digital board. Um, and then our, our staff members are able to present their content through their PowerPoints, but then also transition over to the My View Board software for class discussion, pupil mind mapping, um, and then link that into the content they've taught, and then they can go back into their PowerPoints to reinforce the content they've learned. So, so we're, we're integrating it so that it, it's pr bringing together a more interactive content, a more interactive experience for our students within, within the classroom. When obviously we're doing our student discussions, you've obviously got the pen feature, which is allowing you to then map on the on the interactive board the the students' information, the students' thoughts, the teachers' thoughts, and the content and how that links together. You've got the shapes on on there that, especially for for our maths teachers, our mathematics teachers, they can use the compass, they can use the rulers to be drawing their areas. You've got the overlays as well, so. Again, from an SEN point of view, um, we can change the, the colour of the, of the board so that it's meeting the needs of our students in terms of their accessibility. Um, we've also got the graph paper, um, as well as another background that we can apply to our, our mathematical and our science lessons. So again, all of a sudden we can be drawing graphs and, and information live for the students and, and they get that more live and in-person experience um, from that teacher without it coming from a, a previous experience. Um, we've also got what's really helpful is the YouTube feature um, within the My View Board software. So that's allowing us to pull YouTube videos into the uh, My View Board software, removing any sort of the, the advertisement content and, and any of the recommended content. So the students, all they're seeing is the video that we want them to see. Um, and obviously we've got the screenshot function within that. So when we are viewing that video within the YouTube, we can take that screenshot, we can pull that into another page on the My View Board software, annotate around it, and then carry on from where we were looking at with that YouTube video. It allows the students to, to dip in and out of that video, seamlessly interact with those, um, using all those features that we've got on there. Another feature that we really like is the throw feature. So the throw feature is allowing our teachers to, to really dig deep quite quickly into student work so they're going around with with their device taking a photo of, of student work throwing it onto the the my view board software and within five ten seconds of, of that being thrown onto the screen a teacher's then annotating and discussing with the students strengths and weaknesses of that piece of work so all of a sudden our, our afl has really gone up a level in terms of being able to um to look at student-led work and get student feedback and immediate feedback so so again it, it's really added a, an extra layer into our, our teaching and learning within the classroom. From a PE perspective in terms of using My View Board and the digital boards, we've really seen a change in terms of how we're using uh, this sort of software within an indoor lesson perspective. What that's really allowed us to do is set students off on a task but then bring them back in around the board and actually show them some live demonstrations through the YouTube function. So, uh, for example, in gymnastics, you know, we're looking at roles, we're looking at travel, um, we've got the students exploring that, but then we've pulled them into the board. We've pulled up a video of, of some gymnasts performing their sequences within a, a, an elite level, showing them actually how what they're doing in this classroom links to what people are doing in the outside world at an elite level, allowing them to pick up on the differences between what they're doing in the classroom, what, the, what, the, what they're seeing on the, on the screen. And actually that's again enriching their experience, giving them some real life feedback, allowing them to go away and then work on those elements. We're also able to, to pull in together the timer. So again, when we're in the classroom, the students can visually see the timer, which is on the board. They can see how much time they've got left on their task. So again, it's helping them with their time management, helping them work through their activity, know what they've got in terms of creation of activity and, and, and drill. And in terms of me as a teacher, I'm able to um, kind of discuss key points and actually label them on, on, on the board that previously I've not been able to do in, in an indoor capacity. So actually what it's allowed us to do is bring technology into our lessons and actually that's benefiting the students and enriching their experience. It's allowing them to um, see what they're doing in the classroom and actually how that then relates to the real world. So actually it's creating more meaningful experiences for them. There's obviously the football pitch um, overlay, there's the sports pitch overlays on, on the board. Um, we have a, a football academy within our school 
Um, what the new board has allowed our, our football academy director to do is really take his analysis and his information to the next level. He's able to pull videos into his My View board software um, from the games that they've, they've performed in. He's able to analyse that, take screenshots, and then start to obviously see, talk through his talk through what he's seen within the game, what the footage has seen within the game to the students that have played it. And, and that again is starting to bring that level of feedback to another level. Um, with the, the pitch overlay, he's able to work through tactics, set piece situations. He's able to add in how he wants his team to be working and using the different functions within there, the shapes and the overlay, to create that sort of analysis element that actually previously he'd have had to do manually and constantly having to change, whereas now if he wants to change something it can change it with a couple of clicks and all of a sudden it's, it's, it's increasing pace and reducing workload. Um, so, so again, it's, it's helping him with his analysis and helping him work through that. Why do I think it's important that we integrate technology into the classroom? Well, we live in a digital world. Everything is technology around us now. So we need to move forward with that. We need to move alongside that. We need to move ahead of that. So actually what we're enabling our students to do is develop the soft skills that they're going to need when they move into careers and the real world and they've got those skills from which they can transition into that technologically driven world and they're not behind and they're ahead and they're ahead of the you know other other cohorts and other um, competitors that they might be coming up against um, so I think it's really important from a from a basic form that, that that happens why else do I think it's important that we have technology in there because it can really enrich experience it can enrich a student's experience of something we can now you know, without leaving a classroom and without opening a classroom door and walking out of it, we can now take a geography class uh, from, you know, the middle of London and put them into Brazil and into the Amazon rainforest through the use of technology. We can meet scientists that are working within those areas and they can gain insight into actually what the ecosystem is like, what the uh, Great Barrier Reef is like and how global warming is making an impact on that. And and that then enriches the information that they then are producing within their exams through the case studies that they have to study and how they can work from that. So what it's allowing us to do is extend that classroom beyond anything that we've ever been able to do before. And I think that's important because again, students need to understand and need to see those things. And, and we always say that you know a student learns best when they're doing something with, with, with the information that they're being taught. And if they're going into a, a real world situation and they're going through that process, that's really going to embed that so much more effectively and, and, and give that experience that they can recall quite easily and, and then use that to perform how they want to perform in their exams. How have ViewSonic helped our school implement the, the change that we've done? So we, uh, over the last year, have come on board with ViewSonic and, and actually implemented a real big project of putting in over 50 uh, digital screens into our classrooms. That was a huge project that we had to undertake in a short period of time. Uh, ViewSonic have been extremely flexible with us. Uh, they've been really personal with us. We've had uh, lots of strategy meetings to discuss how we're going to implement this. Um, and it's not just about installing those boards. What was really impressive was that we discussed about the strategy of how we were going to train our teachers because at the end of the day, this is a new piece of software, a new piece of kit that we're putting into our classrooms. And there's so many occasions where staff are given a new piece of kit and then just given a direction to, to crack on with their teaching. And that's a really tough situation to find yourself in and actually a really overwhelming situation. ViewSonic have really helped us break that down, helped us really make our, our, our staff feel comfortable working with these boards. Um, they've helped us gain confidence with the boards and, and, and really build a, at the moment, a, a level of confidence that allows them to teach the lessons how they're teaching them. Um, but what's really exciting is ViewSonic are, are going to be working with us moving forward to really build on that competence that our, st our staff have got and the confidence that they've now got to take that use of the board to the next level of really how can we use the intricate um, piece of kit that are, are integrated within their software to really take their enriching lessons to that next level.